Hello darlings. Um, Freedom is my name, not pre-formula. Um, so I got a letter, sorry, an email. Um, someone asking me about uh, the new supply. There seems to be a bit of infatuation with the new supply. Um, and asking whether he loves her more than he loved uh, you. And, and I'm sure that, um, you know, when you're involved with a narcissist, I'm sure that when you see them uh, with someone else, um, that it's easy to believe what you're seeing is real. Because, you know, you're a real human being. So your emotions are genuine. Your behavior is genuine. Um, you know, you're not contrived. It's not a performance. You're not trying to manipulate or control or get the upper hand. Um, so, you know, you assume that everyone is like you. But in actual fact, narcissists are nothing like the rest of us. Um, they're pathologically disordered. So their brain doesn't function like ours does. Um, under medical imaging, it shows that they have no capacity for empathy. And if you cannot, can't feel empathy, you can't feel love. So if you think about all the times that they displayed love, um, what they were actually doing was either mirroring back to you your own love. So you would have shown them what love looked like to you. And they're quick to learn. So they show that back to you. So they're mirroring back to you what you think love looks like. And the more appreciative and the more, um, you know, the more signs you show that that's working, the more that proves to them that that is what love looks like to you. What's interesting is that you take them and put them with another partner, they will act totally differently. Um, they will mirror different behavior, different values, different everything. So they don't have, a, they don't have a capacity to genuinely love. All they can do is pretend to love and what and the reason that they do it is not for the same reasons that the rest of us love um, they do it to manipulate and to get what they want which, which is essentially um, supply they want you to be looking back at them with love in your eyes and adoration adoration more than anything so if you're looking up to them and saying you know oh my god you're such a you know such a good man, such a big man, such a strong man, such a this, that, whatever. That's the stuff that um, they want to hear from you. They don't necessarily want to hear that you love them. They don't really care about that. But, you know, that you think they're so good and that you admire and adore and look up to them. They want to hear that from you and from everyone else that says it to them. So, remember back to when you were with him, right? Remember how badly he treated you? Well, that's what's coming for her. It might not be the same kind of abuse because they tailor make, you know, tailor the abuse to the individual they're with, but the abuse is coming to her. It's just a matter of when. It's not if. It's just when. Um, so when you see them all loved up and you know they're putting their photos up on Facebook or whatever it is that they're doing. Um, you know, you might have heard along the grapevine that, you know, they're, oh, he's so in love with this one. Um, first of all, they deliberately put those kind of, um, you know, those signs and signals out there for you. I mean, that's how narcissists view the world. You know, it's always codes, signals, signs. They look into things, they read into things. They're very, very observant because this is how they navigate through the world. Um, and so they put these signs and signals out for you to witness. So for example, one of my girls just recently uh, got sent a link on her phone when she clicked onto it. It was a, um, a, a link to the security camera in his bedroom that he'd set up so she could watch him um, having sex with another woman. You know, deliberate 
deliberately done. So when he was having sex with that other woman, do you think that she had any idea, any clue that he was recording her for his ex-partner, for the benefit of his ex-partner? So when he was doing his mind-blowing performance, she had no idea that it was all just for the woman that came before her. And that is what these narcissists do. They're never present in the moment. They don't love. It's not about you, the one before you, the one after you, or the one after her. It's all just about them getting supply. So no, he doesn't love her any more than he loved you because he didn't love you. He doesn't love her and he won't love the one after her. Once you get that through your head, you it makes it so much easier to walk away from the illusion um, that they built up for you. And they did build it up for you. Everything they said to you was a lie. Everything they did was a lie. It was all just to get what they wanted from you. And it's quite fascinating for me in particular to observe um, my ex and the pattern of behaviour. Um, I didn't see it when I was in there, when it was me, because, you know, obviously you're too close. What's that saying about, you know, being, um, it's hard to see the picture when you're in the frame? So now that I've stepped out, I can see exactly what he's about. And I can see his behaviour with her and I can see everything that he's doing. Um, he did the same crap to me, you know, but at the time I was believing all the bullshit lies that go with it. You know, oh, it's his mental health and oh, it's his ex-girlfriend and, you know, oh, it's this and oh, it's that and he's always the victim and, you know, and you want to try so hard to prove that you're not going to be the one who treats him like the ex did and, you know, they've got you jumping through hoops trying to um, impress them and love them and you just, you know, it's, it's this kind of illusion, this future faking, if I can love him enough, it'll be good with us. And, you know, I wasted 14 years of my life, one day at a time, each day, same kind of bullshit over and over and over, trying to reach this unattainable goal. And he happily wasted 14 years of my life and he would have wasted more had I not walked away. But now that I have walked away, um, and it's taken me this long, you know, I've been separated for almost two years now, and it's taken me this long to actually realise that it's not love, it never was love, and, you know, he can um, he can put on this performance art with her, you know, he can put up photos, he can try and make me jealous, he can change his status, he can make comments. Um, I hear about him, of course, because, you know, we live in an age of social media where people talk and people love to, you know, pass on gossip and it's just, it is what it is. I don't care. So, but when I hear this stuff, you know, it doesn't actually hurt me because I realise it's just performance art that somewhere in his twisted little mind, he was actually thinking that I would see that and I would read it and I would hear it or whatever that I would find out. I mean, I think he got engaged recently. I'm not 100% sure. I heard a rumour that he did. And he sent me a photo, but I deleted it. I mean, who gets engaged and then sends their ex a photo um, saying something like, you know, oh, yeah, you deserve this or some something. I mean, that just shows that, you know, obviously he's still thinking about me. Um, but it's not in a good way. It doesn't mean he, he loves me. It just means that, you know, his, like his new victim, she's got no clue what she's living with. She's got no idea. And it's really sad. But anyhow, I'm keeping his secrets because that's the only thing that keeps him away from me. And that's where I want him to be, is away from me forever. So don't worry about the, the fake love. Consider it performance art. Um, what goes on behind closed doors, you know, no one knows, but you can guarantee I will lay every cent I have on the fact that um, if he is a narcissistic abuser, he will be abusing her just like he did you. And, you know, when she wakes up and leaves, he'll abuse the one after her. So, 
let it go it's not love it's an illusion it's a manipulation and um, in all reality you know who wants them no one wants them no one wants that kind of negativity in your life life is so much better when you're not treading on eggshells or wondering what you've done or why you've been given the silent treatment or you know who needs that mm -mm. no not me i got better things to do much better things to do all right darling girls you take care and um check us out on Nark pre formula bye